Article 3 of the Code of Ethics. Article 3 of the Code of Ethics centers on the duty of the real estate professional to cooperate with other realtors and to protect the interest of their client. This article promotes a collaborative and ethical approach to the real estate transaction. What are the duties of other realtors? Realtors shall cooperate with other brokers except when cooperation is not in the client's best interest. The obligation to cooperate does not include the obligation to share commissions, fees, or otherwise compensate another broker. Well, isn't that apropos? <clears throat> Article 3 emphasizes the importance of professional cooperation and ethical conduct when dealing with the other realtors. The related standards of practice provide specific guidelines to ensure fair treatment, integrity, and transparency in the interaction with other fellow licensed professionals. By adhering to these standards, Realtors contribute to a positive and collaborative environment within our industry. Article 3 Case Study Here's the scenario. Mary, a licensed Realtor, is representing the seller of Mr. Johnson. He's listed the property for sale, but Lisa, another licensed realtor, has a potential buyer, Emily. Emily is interested in the property similar to Mr. Johnson's listing. So Mary and Lisa have collaborated successfully on previous transactions, but in this particular case, the seller, Mr. Johnson, expresses concerns about cooperating with Lisa, citing a past dispute between them. So here's the issue. The issue in this scenario involves the provision in the Realtor Code of Ethics that states Realtors shall cooperate with other brokers, except when cooperation is not in the client's best interest. Mary needs to balance the requirement of cooperation with the potential impact on her client's best interest, given that Mr. Johnson has reservations about working with Lisa. So while the Code of Ethics encourages cooperation among realtors, it acknowledges that there may be situations where cooperation is not in the client's best interest. Mary must carefully assess the specific circumstances, including Mr. Johnson's concerns to determine the most appropriate course of action. So here's what Mary should ethically do. Have an open and honest conversation with Mr. Johnson to understand the nature of the past dispute. Evaluate whether the concerns raised by Mr. Johnson have a significant impact on the current transaction, or are they based on a personal differences that may not affect this collaboration at all? She should discuss the potential benefits of cooperating with Lisa, like reaching a broader pool of potential buyer for Mr. Johnson's property. She could also explore alternative ways to address Mr. Johnson's concern, maybe setting clear communication expectations or involving a neutral third party in the transaction. If, and this is going to blow your mind, if, after careful consideration, Mary believes that cooperating with Lisa is genuinely not in Mr. Johnson's best interest. She should respect Mr. Johnson's wishes and seek alternative solutions to marketing the property effectively. So by navigating this situation with professionalism and a focus on the client's best interest, Mary demonstrated a commitment to ethical conduct. This approach ensures that the real estate transaction proceeds in a manner that aligns with the principles of cooperation while prioritizing the needs and concerns of the client. 